Um, they still want you to be able to find the pineal gland up in the brain, making melatonin to help with sleep-weight cycles and arousal. And they want you to be able to find the hypothalamus, which is that crucial link between the endocrine and um, the nervous system being involved in most aspects of autonomic arousal and, and control for us. They want you to be able to find the pituitary. The portion that's here in white is made up of nervous tissue. It's three here. That's our neurohypothesis. The one, which is in pink, is the adenohypothesis. So it's this portion in here. Remember, these are really two distinct organs. They fuse during development. This is an extension of our nervous system, stores and releases the, um, the oxytocin and the ADH for you. And this is what I'm gonna make tons and tons and tons of, of hormones for you. All of the release of this, though, is controlled by the hypothalamus with the releasing hormones. Okay. I think Are we that's able to refer to it as anterior You can, and that's okay. totally fine, yeah. yeah. Eventually, though, you do want to learn all those names for your own sake because people will use them interchangeably. But yeah, it's fine with me if you do that. Five here showing you where it is right below the major uh, cartilages for the, the, for the larynx or the voice box. We have the thyroid. Looks like a pretty little butterfly or a shield. So this is also thyroid over here. I don't think they want you to know any other parts of it. Then what they do is they flip it over so we can see the back and they show you the parathyroid glands. They're showing you four, which is standard, but it could be from two to eight and still be a perfectly healthy person. And the only thing that these guys secrete is parathyroid hormone, which is awesome, involved in calcium metabolism. Um, they want you to be able to find the adrenal gland sitting on top of the kidneys. You can notice that in the cats they don't have really big adrenal glands, which is weird. I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, but anyway, here is what it looks like. Um, this, they're cutting it open to show you that this yellowy portion is the cortex, and the cortex of the medulla really is fatty. The interior of the medulla is a pinky, uh, sort of more normal looking in, uh, endocrine gland. Again, two separate glands that fuse during development. So they really are two separate things. This one for sympathetic and autonomic. This is all involved in uh, metabolite regulation, glucose, so it's completely separate functions. Um, this is your pancreas, okay? So what you want to envision is the, the stomach sort of sitting right on, above it. They don't have it on the model, but that's what we would be on top of it. This they're showing you a cutout. This is the only one I would never point to because it doesn't look like a pancreas to me. So the pancreas is here. Um, and then we have our female and male reproductive tract. So 20 are the ovaries. This is the ovary over here. And then these are the testes. This is the testicle over here. So this is the whole testicle and this is the testy. On the practical, you'll just pin something and we have to tell you what it is and what it secretes. I don't know whether or not you need, does it say it on the sheet? If it doesn't say it on the sheet, we're not doing it. Be uh, sure to know the major hormones secreted by each gland. So sadly, you need to know it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you don't need to know what it does. What is the easy. pancreas secreting? Pancreas is insulin and glucagon. Okay, so this is for glucose. Like thyroid ones are easy. Just... Yeah, so thyroid secretes thyroid hormones. Nice. <laughs> Calcitonin, though it's not really functional in humans. I don't know if the book mentions that. Don't yeah, really. It it, don't really mention. We use it as a kid, but not as an adult. Parathyroid secretes parathyroid. Pineal melatonin. This makes the oxytocin and ADH and um, releases all the uh, regulatory hormones. And then we get ADH and oxytocin release, but then the millions. All you need to know is be able to, you know. Say a few. A few. There's seven. There's seven, There's seven that you guys have to know. Yeah. yeah, so you have the ACH, ACTH, MSH. Yeah, the tropic hormones are pretty easy to remember as long as you remember what they are. Is that a word that you forgot? I did. I said it was AD. And it gets its name because it's, it's adrenocorticotropic cortex because it's telling you it's coming from the cortex and it, and it regulates the glucocorticoids. And then testosterone and estrogens, progesterone. Tell me again, there's two on the outside and two on the inside. What are the... I think the two that they have you know, they have you know the glucocorticoids, which is the cortisol is our main okay. one. And then they have you know the mineral corticoids, which are the um, aldosterone. Okay. 
Okay. Which is the main one in inside epi and epinephrine and norepinephrine. Okay. And then this does also produce androgens. I don't know if she asked she can memorize that though, because it's not very functional in humans again. We do produce male hormones.